mother-in-law and I get up at 7 every morning and we start cooking the food. It's picked up by a Tiffin guy who comes in at 9.30 and takes the food to the place where my father-in-law and my husband work. sweet custom of putting a rose in our tiffin box because my father-in-law likes flowers. I think all over Bombay there would be about 30,000 tiffins being delivered. You have the best smells, you have the worst smells. It's really a study of contrasts. But one thing India has is it has a soul. I came to India on a spiritual search, a spiritual quest, because there's a depth in India, a philosophical understanding that is very satisfying. The American dream is work hard and you make a lot of money and you get your house in the suburbs. People, they work one job, two jobs, the husband is working, the wife is working, trying to make money on top of money to buy a new house. And who's home? The dog is home, enjoying, the dog is home enjoying the big fancy house. In the morning you see everybody driving this way, in the evening everybody's driving that way. Rushing, rushing, where is everybody going? Trying to find happiness, trying to find satisfaction. If you ask anybody, but are you fully satisfied? Are you fully happy? People will say no. We don't know who we really are. If we think that I am American, or I am Russian, or I'm young, I'm old, I'm rich, I'm poor, if we think in a material, external way about ourselves, it is very difficult to find satisfaction. Goa is fast asleep. We have
haven't been able to get rid of the hippie destination label that was stuck on us uh, way back in the flower children days in the 60s and 70s. Summertime 